Hello, welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. In the last episode, I did the hunting cabin, the woodshed and the workshop, as well as we went for exploration in the cave once those pesky bears were gone. This episode, I'm going to focus on getting my food storage, which I'll need to check if I actually have it available, which I do not because I haven't done any farming. Um, but we do have the resource storage available, so we'll get the resource storage up. <laughs> I don't quite remember where I was going to actually put the kitchen and the food storage. It, um, I think I was going to put it here. Nothing's usually set in stone. So I'm just going to chop these trees down and see if I can get my resource storage sort of in a central location to everything else. I'd be interested to know what everyone else likes to build first, besides the house. I generally like to build the hunting cabin, the woodshed and the workshop first, as well as the resource storage. Um, I don't prioritise the farming as much as some other people like to do. So let me know in the comments what you guys build first, like what's the first five buildings you would make? Let's see where we can put it. It's quite high because of the elevation. This is where having flatter land comes in handy. Now I'm going to have to go up those stairs for the resource storage every single time. So that's the base. So looking down at the base here, it's going to look quite imposing, but that's all right chop some trees down and we'll get this resource storage built. Any stumps that are in the middle of my paths I will remove as well. I recently looked at what they did on the patch. Looks like they've made the temperatures a little bit harder. My characters get feeling a little bit hot right now. I'm not too sure if taking her clothes off is helpful or not. But we'll give it a go. I did take the clothes off, but I put them back on because it was providing a little bit of heat protection. We've just unlocked the simple house, which is good. I do like to build a slightly bigger house as soon as possible, just so it takes up less room. And that's the storage, or the resource storage is done. Sweet, so that means I can chuck things I don't want to carry inside. Since our resource storage is now done, we can move on to the next building. I do like to get my food storage done, but I need farming technology. So we're going to start chucking in a couple of farming tiles and see if we can get some of those unlocked. I was going to make this my central part of town and then the farming we were going to chuck on the side over here which I'll provide a little pathway for myself just so I know not to go too far that'll cordon off this area for some housing and I also want to make sure I'm going south. One of the reasons we want to go south is because the farming tiles are going to be in the direction of the compass. And so my pathing needs to be flat along that as well. This is going to be a rough guide for where my farming is going to be. Sweet. So I've got this big area here. I'm going to chop down all these trees. Um, at some point, but I won't do that now. In the meantime, I do want a small path that's roughly center. So we will start here. And that'll lead us to our barn. So I'll put my barn sort of in the center. And then everything else in between will be farm plots. So I'll put our field tiles in. I'm going to come in a little bit so I can put a fence in later and we'll just stick with 
that'll get us started. So we're going to make a wooden hoe. And then once she does some farming, we should have access to our food storage. And then we'll get that up and running as well. So I had no farming experience. So we'll have a look and see how long it takes us to get the first building. So I've done a 7x2 farming plot. So we're going to see how much that actually gave us. So we did 14 bits of farming, which gives us, I get 0 0.2 points per plot. Uh, the whole point of this playthrough is I want to put the buildings in nicer spots rather than, I guess, practical spots, just so I have a, I guess, a nice free flowing village. So we'll go back into our farming. And because this is off center here, we'll try and match up this corner. Let's bring this 5x8. I've just got access to the food storage. It didn't take long. I only did one row of eight. I'm going to finish this whole pot here. That'll hopefully give us access to the farming shed and hopefully the barn as well. We've just got access to the barn. So just doing a 2x7 and a 5x8 farming or field, we've got access now to the food storage and the barn. So I'm going to put those into place. The barn, I like to have quite central. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space in the front here for some decorations. You will notice the back side, I believe it's double sided. You should be able to walk right through the barn. So then I'm going to have a little path that leads to this one here. I am thinking of having the tavern near the front and have a lot of um, seating at the front here with lots of people to lounge about, I guess you could say. We'll just border this well here. Wait, that gives me plenty of room to add to anything else I want. Maybe we'll have the tavern in this area seating here and I'll put the kitchen and the food storage on my right hand side and that's still quite close enough to the farming area I like to border my food and kitchen with some orchards three orchards this way just gonna grub these up so I can see where they are so I'll leave a couple of those trees there Sweet, just a little bit of room at the back there to add a fence line. Some of you might be thinking, why didn't I have the path in line with the field or have it straight with the compass? Um, having this little bit of space just adds to the aesthetic. Having everything rigid, straight and square doesn't necessarily make it look very good. Sweet, that's the food storage done. So now that we've got the food storage, the resource storage, we've got our starting production buildings. The only thing I'm missing is the barn. But in order to get our food up and running for this village, I need a barn so I can make fertilizer. You know what? I'm going to make a double path for that one. Looks a little bit too thin. Sweet, nice chunky path for my barn. We'll do the same on this side just to complete the look. And anytime I want to fill some space with decorations, I would sometimes put orchards in, but we don't have as much space as I was hoping on the front. But at the back we do. So we can do something like this. Let's go two orchards across. On the other side we'll do the same. Here we go. So we've got one, two, three, four tree spots. And then we're going to have another four on this side. Four trees I can plant there. The reason I put a little bit of space here as well is decorations and spacing is always good. I'm going to chuck a quick path. 
just finish off this one here. I do like to provide multiple accesses, access ways into the farming area. So we've got the front and the back. So I'll provide one for the sides as well. Just line this up, walk backwards, and we'll do the other side as well. Oh, perfect. I had the right amount of logs for that. Sweet, that's that barn done. Now I have a walkway right through to the side here. And in the future, we can continue this path down there and go straight to the river. And that's a good start to our farming area. We have our barn set up. We have our food storage and we have our resource storage as well as we've got a couple of orchard spots set up so that once we get some seeds we can plant them as soon as we can because they do take a couple of years to grow but I think it'll be a nice look to our village we will keep these trees the same and we'll probably put some other trees over here and, and there is a little bit of room over here I could put one last thing so we start here that'll be about right perfect and just to complete that look for that one as well we'll finish off this area with some more farming tiles so we'll get these as close as we can I know placing these down a little early is going to cause my taxes to go up and that's our next big field that's the start of our farming. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. We'll hopefully get our seeds planted, get some trees in, and hopefully get some people coming in to this village at some point so we can not have to worry about collecting our own logs.